Hello YouTube fan, Polly B here and today I want to talk to you about 5 tips I wish I knew before going to Nice. Let's do it guys! You see, for me, Nice always used to be this romantic destination which I've seen so many times in the movies. I always wanted to come down here and just kind of walk on a promenade and eat my ice cream in the sunshine and I've done all of that. I came here for three days, had absolutely amazing time and enjoyed every single minute out of it, learned so much, done so much and met loads of awesome people. But back to the point. Mussels and fries are overhyped. Nice has a lot of seafood and the most obvious popular choice of local delicatessens would be moulet frite. They're absolutely the same in every single restaurant apart from the fries. So my recommendation would be just to go for the cheapest one or skip it all together. However, the french fries were superb. Don't get a car. The roads in Nice are crazy and they're super narrow. The parking space is so very limited. You're still gonna end up walking anyway. And the public transport is just superb and works like clockwork. I thoroughly recommend that, honestly. And Nice is so gorgeous. Why would you need a car? Nice is beautiful. Explore the local region. Seaside with Old Town and Castle Hill will take you about a day. That's without the museums though. Jump on the train, jump on a bus and explore the local villages. Everything, and I mean everything, is about half an hour away and it costs 150 euros one way. A voila. A voila. Speaking of which, on one of your explorations you might come across this gorgeous pink villa. The villa itself is gorgeous straight from the postcard and the gardens surrounding it are just mind-blowing. I really don't want to spoil it for you because it's that beautiful but please do take my word for it. Plan a good four to six hours there and a full memory card because you're gonna need it. I would also like to give a shout out to my most wonderful host Lucrezia. She is absolute superstar, wonderful human being and we had such a blast exploring Nice together. She's a historian, a tour guide and a fountain of knowledge and knows all the cool stories. I will link her details down below. She has this cool flat in the city centre and she has two, two wonderful cats. She also knows all the cool spots as well as delicious vegan places. Best dinner in Nice is picnic. I bet all my budget travelers will love this point. Go to the shop, get all this local delicatessen, anything from vino, fromage, saucisson. Go to the promenade, find the best spot and enjoy all this beautiful stuff whilst watching the sun going down. How romantic. All the locals do it, just join the party. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Have you actually been to Nice? What was your favorite thing to do there? Were you having a picnic? Did you go to the Castle Hill? Let me know in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. And as always, I'm Polly B and I'm just excited to be here.